Hello guys and welcome to my PowerPoint presentation where I'm going to show you guys how to make a professional PowerPoint. So let's get right to it. So what we're going to make is a professional homepage for your PowerPoint. So the first thing we're going to do is insert and we're going to insert a shape of rounded corners. So as you look at this, it, the shape, this shape looks nothing like this one, this shape. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click it, I mean, no, no, I mean click it, and I'm going to drag this orange button down. So now you see it's all around it. So I, I've already made one just for us, so it'll be easier. So where is it? Um, there you go. Oh, wait. So I'm gonna just fill it. So you see, I've, I've already done it. I did it earlier because it'll be easier for you guys to like um, see. So anyway, so we're gonna right click it. So we will do that. I'm just gonna ungroup it for now. Um, ungroup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna select all of it. All right, first thing I would say do is to uh, Control click, uh, it would be easier as um, as if you drag it, sometimes it like doesn't select everything. So what you do is you go to shape format. I've already done this earlier, so no outline, you would click no outline. So then uh, when, like, when you like uh, view the picture, it will look way nicer. So we're gonna right click. We're going to group it. Right. Next, what we're going to do is we're going to right click it again. We're going to go to format shape. And we are going to go to a picture or texture fill. As you already see, I already have the picture there. So let's say I didn't have it right now. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert from a file. I already have an image. I have saved, we're going to click this image, and there you go. You can make any image you want. So next, what we're going to, that's the first part of the home page. So next, what we're going to do is, we're going to select, um, we're going to get a text box, and then we're going to go to AV, character spacing, when you click home. So we're going to go to more spacing, and it's going, so I chose my spacing to be 25, but you can do any you want. So there you go. So now you can see when I type, it's not, I'm not spacing, it's just getting spaced itself. So next, so I, what I've done is, uh, if you want to copy me, so what I've done is I have done the, chose a lasso. That's my writing style. I chose the size 48 and then the color white so then it matches better. So, oh, oh wait, I didn't think it worked. I decided it didn't work. So I'm just gonna 48. So there you go, done. So now, there you go. But that's how you would make a professional homepage for your professional PowerPoint. Done. So you might be wondering what are transitions and what are animations? So I can give you a quick example. So do you remember I made, um, let me show you really quickly. Remember I made the uh, body day thing? Um, yeah, this PPTX like before. It with Sahib via Bikram. Bikram, right. So remember for that, like the, the, you saw that intro, right? The, you saw that intro and the animation, right? So that is transition and animation. So uh, animation is this, right? Remember I just showed how this came up and this came up. Those are both animations. Right, and that, and then you saw how the, it left. That is an, an a transition. 
So now you might be wondering how to do something like that. How can I do something like that? So for transitions, what you would do is, so you'd go to click transitions, and then you got um, a lot of them actually. So click this button to see all of them. And now you can pick, but I'm just gonna pick a random one. Now you see, that's a transition. So now what an animation is, so I'm gonna select a text. Uh, let's say I'm gonna select the heading, right? So what I do is, so preview, uh, the pre, okay, so I'm gonna, let's say I go here, say more entrance, you can do entrance, you can do this one. I'm not sure, I forgot what it was. Yeah, you can do that. I'm, I'm not sure which one was that, but you're probably not gonna use that one. So I'm not gonna really tell anything about that one. So you can do that. So this is for the entrances. So let's say when you go on the slides, the text will just come back and then this is exit. So let me show you. So for entrances, it's like this. So like when you like um, open, like go to the slide, it will do that. Um, and um, the exit one is the same thing, but instead of like, it will just get out. Oh yeah, you can also do your own, I think. Oh yeah, so you can do your, I think your own shape, I think. One second, let me show you. Um, oh yeah, these are all the shapes you can do. Um, yeah, okay. So you can do the edit point and then you can like do anything you want with it. So let's say I can extend it, I can change it with edit points, like, um, let me show you this. So you go to click this and then you can do, um, scroll down and you click edit points. The same you can do with, um, when, oh yeah, one, like the same one you do with the entrances. And oh yeah, this is the animation panel to see all the animations you have done to, to each. So that uh, that is transition and animations done. So you might remember another thing that I made for my Pakistan um, project was this cool like menu bar for my animated slides. So let me show you. Wait, let me show you. So. You might um, remember, um, see right on the side, I made this. Right. So what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to show you guys how to make something like this. So let me show you. So let me just switch slides. So the first thing you would do is insert. Um, like your icons, like what are your slides about? So I just did one, two, three, four, and five. So I'm just going to insert like uh, one. Just for an example, I'm just gonna quickly insert these. So two. Um, I'm just not gonna do it like neat right now. I'm just gonna quickly do this. Three, four, and five. So I'll tell you where I got these icons from. So I got it from insert. And when I click insert, you click icons and then you write here what type of icon you want. You can even get cut out people, images, stickers, videos, and I, illustrations. Oh yeah, like, yeah, these are pretty cool as well. So let me show you. So the first thing you'll do right now is, um, let me get rid of these design ideas. Sec. 
so that's how I so design ideas. That's how I made like these really cool like designs. So, but anyway, so I'm just gonna move these to the side. So let's just quickly get that ready. Oh yeah, the first thing I would probably say is add the ruler and grid and guides. It helps out a lot when we're gonna what we're gonna do later. So yeah. There's another one, um, yes, yeah, smart guides and guidelines. So now you see we have all our lines. So now you can like do it like evenly where you want to place your like stuff. So I'm going to do mine like every one cube. So every one cube. Oh, oh man, this don't do what I'm doing right now. I just by mistake clicked it, but if that happens with you, it's just you just you just rotate it. Anyway, so I'm just gonna do it every square. I'm just gonna skip one square. Okay. So um oh come on. Yeah, I'm just going to do this. So anyway. So next, what we're gonna do is we're going to um, copy all of this. I'm just going to drag it like that, right? We're gonna do Control C, or you can do um, right click and do Copy, Control V. So now we have two sets. Now, see where I'm going right now. So what I'm doing right now. So when I the Pakistan one, so you might notice I have these two set. Oh wait, ah. Uh, yeah, uh, these two separate ones. So next, what I'm gonna do is, so for uh, so you don't have to add what I'm gonna add right now, but what it would look really nice. So I'm just going to insert a shape, a circle, and I'm just gonna do one little outline over it like that. So what we do is we're gonna go to shape format, and we're gonna send. Okay, I'm just gonna move my screen. So and we're going to do shape format and we're going to bring, send back, okay? So now you see. So I'm just going to quickly do this. So just one sec. I can't do fast motion on this because I don't know how to on Zoom. But anyway, so we're gonna do control C or V. Oh wait, I think I, I selected the wrong thing, so you can do V. Okay, one sec, Let's see. There I have it now. So you can do the outline what I've done, like I did here. Um, which one is it? I'm gonna do this. I did shape format and I clicked, um, you can do various. I did this theme style because I think it looks nice, but you can just do um, color fill um, white. So it won't show the lines, but I think that looks nice. So we're just going to do Control V. Bring back. So, yep. Let me finish this off. So, bring. You see why I'm doing this? Cause so you know when I did the Pakistan one, I have like this cool outline. So yep, so I'm doing it. But you don't have to do it, but it's just for style. So let me just finish this. I'm gonna um, copy this again. So back. Almost done. So we're done with this part. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna copy this. Okay, right, first thing let's delete this. So the easiest way to delete is like so click it and then click your delete button. That's really quick, or your like um when you this button right here. Got what it's called. Yeah, the one right next to your plus and equal, that will, I think that will work as well. 
And I select all of this and you control C and control V. So now we have it on the side. Oh yeah, um, if it's like this, your screen, like somewhere like this. So you, you just do control scroll because yeah, it, it, would be, it would be easier to do. So anyway, what we're gonna do is next, is we're gonna insert a rectangle and we're going to cover this whole area. Sec. And we're gonna right click it and send to back. So you're gonna change the color later, but so I would say change the color of your icons as well. Because it will look nicer. So I'm just gonna do a I'm gonna do this color or this. Yeah, I'm gonna go with that color. Because why not? Just gonna quickly change it. Almost done. And right. Right, so we have this part done. So we're gonna just color this white. Oh yeah, first thing I think we should do is um let's get rid of these outlines. So you might remember like before we did shape formats. Go to shape outline and we click no outline. So then the outline's gone. So what we're gonna do now is we are going to go to shape format, gonna rotate 90. So now this is where we, not just for now, I'm going to um, do this um, like black so then you can see. So, but anyway, let's just extend this. So let me just move this out of the way, extend this. So now we're going, for example, I'm just going to select two. This is where the grid will come in. You saw so a line in, I think you got a line just to the center. So you go click this align, you can align to center. So we've aligned it to the center. So now we're going to put this right there, this right there. So now we see, okay. So now what we're gonna do is insert a triangle. Now you might be wondering why. It's cause it's kind of random. So, oh yeah. So we are going to rotate this, flip this horizontally. So we're going to place it right here. And then what we're going to do is con so do control and then hold, then hold it. It'll, so then you see right here what I'm doing. So do control and then you can drag it. So then it will be easier. So we're going to send this to the back, I think. No, don't send it to the back. Um, oh wait, no, you don't send that to the back. So bring to front and then you bring this to front. So yeah, now you can see that. It's like this keeps, oh, that's so annoying. So bring to front and bring this to front. Right, now you see that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do control click and con oh wait, first thing, control click this and control click the triangle. So go to shape format, we're gonna click merge shapes. And we're gonna do subtract. So now you see we have subtracted. So now it looks a bit triangular, right? It doesn't look that nice. So you can do your own shapes. I'm gonna leave it, I'm gonna change it now just to show you guys. So you click edit points so you can edit your point so then you can change how you want it to look so i'm not going to do that much 
because it's just an example. But anyway, so we're gonna rotate. First thing, let me just change this background. Format background. I click format background. And then I'm just gonna ch uh, I'm just gonna change it to red. She has. I'm gonna ch yeah, I'm just gonna change it to this. So now what we're gonna go, we're going to go shape format. We're gonna rotate this uh, back. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna do control. And I'm just gonna, oh wait. Hey, just going to, ex God. Uh, yeah, we're just gonna do that. Right, so then whenever like you're gonna do it later. Oh wait, I think I messed it up a bit. Like you don't need it that long. Actually, you don't need it that long. So anyway, so let's move that forward and. All right, done. So next, now, whenever I did the thing, yeah, it would move to a different slide. So you might be wondering how I did this part. So what you got to do is, so we are going to click it, we're gonna right click it, and um, so, what you gotta do is um one sec. So you have got to right click and you gotta click link or hover over link. Insert a link. So now you see it. Now we are kind of left. So you're gonna do place in this PowerPoint, and then now I can do. So let's say I go to okay. Let's say go to two. All right, so now it will change and now it would link. So I'm just going to quickly copy this slide then. I'm just gonna duplicate it. So it would look, it's cause then it would make a bit more sense. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna select this thing. I'm just gonna select, just gonna select the one. It's cause we're on, page one, I think. Yeah, we're on page. So we're gonna say uh, no fill. Same for the back, the other, I'm just gonna. Don't actually delete it, it's cause, yeah, just don't delete it. It's because then like whenever you copy it, you don't have to like, make some brand new one. So we're just going to go here again, and no fill, or maybe, um, you know, actually I'd say, um, don't add the outline, it's cause yeah, that might happen. So I'm just going to say outline, no outline. If you do, you just gotta do like no outline or something like that. So I'm just gonna delete this part. So anyway, so now we're gonna bring this here, bring this here, and now you see what I'm doing. So, so now it, see, it seems like I'm on this side. So we're gonna do the same for each and the other slides. So next you can just push this down and then, um, can and say no fill. No outline. No fill. Right, so it's right here. So now I can move this here. So now it looks like Let's fill this. 
Um, yeah, I think we need an, another one icon. I think I messed that part up. Okay, so control C, control V. Um, I think this is the other thing. V, so now the one's right here. So then we're gonna fill this into gray. So now we can move this right here. Put this right here. And now we, so then now we're just gonna link everything. So link the three to like another one. So I'm just gonna quickly do it. So I'm just gonna make um, three more slides. So I'm just gonna do control V. V, V. So I'm just going to quickly make some slides. So this might take a long time. So let's do it. So three, three, push this down. Let's fill. That's the other one. Move this back. Move this here. So move this one to front. So next we will do three. But I'm just gonna keep on doing this. So yeah, no fill. No fill. Let's get rid of that outline. Let's hmm? get, get rid of that outline so we can do three here and then four and then five sorry this is taking a bit of a long time i'm trying as fast as i can because this part takes forever Copy B. So we're gonna paste that right there. Say fill, no fill. Outline, no outline. So next, and then the final one, I think I forgot to add another one. So I'm just gonna do C to V. So last. It's, it's a boring pro process, process or whatever, but it's take, but now you see how it's starting to look. So I'm going to copy. I'm going to select. So yeah, no fill. I put this right here. Yeah, should be it. So move this back. Copy four. And that's the model of it. Right, now you we need to like um add all like the um all the links and the transition like the so to from this right here 
So now we have this part ready. So now we got link it all up. So this is link two. So right. Oh wait, I gotta ch change this link. So move link, link, insert link. So this is gonna be page slide eight. Don't do this because I have like a complete another one right here. So I'm not that time doing slide eight, but don't do that because you probably have a different one. So we're gonna add link, link. So nine. Ten. Eleven. One, two, three, four. I skip one. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. I think I might have skipped one. Oh, it's probably um oh. that's that problem. Um still eat that slides. So now it makes a bit more sense. Okay. So now we gotta keep on doing the same to each and all the others. So sorry, this is taking a long time, but when you finish, it will be worth it. So nine, ten. And eleven. So we gotta do the we gotta do the same to each one. So seven. I already added it. No, remove this link. Link eight. Link. This is 10. And this is 11. We have a few more left. Seven. Move this link. I think when I copied it, I might have added the two had like the other link. So a nine and eleven. Last slides. And then all the linking is done. So then we just need to add the transition so then it moves smoothly. So, um, wait. Almost done. And we are done. Right, so now we've added all the links, we've added all the icons, and we added what we need to add. So we, this is the last part. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do transitions. So the quickest way to actually do this, so do morph, so, Wait, why is there an animation here? If I had an animation. So you see that, did you, so we're gonna do, um, do I think 0 0.5 might be nice because it's quick. 
Yeah. Five. Zero point five. Zero point five. And I think we are done. So I'm just going to quickly skip through this. So I'm just going to skip, skip, skip. So now you see one, two, three. Oh, it's not that smooth. I think we haven't. Why is that not smooth? Okay, I just need to check that problem. And you. Oh, we added um, move. 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 Zero point five. Zero point five. And five. So now it should work. I'm just going to quickly skip to this. Now it will work done so this is the end of the powerpoint i hope you like it if there's any problems tell me at school and this is the end bye bye